Hello everyone, I am Amitesh from GetSet SQL and in this video we will learn what is incremental refresh. So first of all we will see what is incremental refresh then we will see how to implement this. Okay? We will also see that what type of license we are required to implement incremental refresh. Okay? Incremental refresh in Power BI allow us to refresh only recent data into data sets. Okay? We do not look into the previous data that is already there into the data sets. Okay. It is different from full refresh because in full refresh every time we refresh all the data. Okay. So incremental refresh looks only the new data, recent data and that we upload into Power BI data set. So obviously this is faster. Okay. And uh, incremental refresh can implement either on data set or in data flow. So if you want to implement that incremental refresh in data set, then we must have pro license with us. And if you want to implement this data into, into data flow, then we need a premium license. So either a premium capacity or premium per user capacity, right? So first of all, we'll see how to implement incremental refresh in data set, right? So let's head over to my laptop and there we'll see in practical. So this is my Power BI desktop and I have one table here called sales. Okay. This sales table has some 60,000 rows. The incremental refresh we can simply see here that the option available. But if we select incremental refresh then it gives me a warning that before implementing the incremental refresh you need to set up a parameter. Okay. So cancel this one and go to transform data so here first of all we will create two parameter range start and the data type I will select date time because we'll refresh data incrementally based on date column so uh, I will select any dummy date here and the second parameter is range end. Please be careful that parameters name should be exactly same as I'm point as I'm giving here, because Power BI services understand only these parameters for implementing incremental refresh. You may have any date value for these parameters because these values are only dummy values, and this would get overruled when you will implement it in the desktop that we'll see just now okay so two parameters defined here now I will see on what date column I want to implement this incremental refresh so in my case I have ordered it you may have other columns in your table so I will implement filter here on my date column is after all equals to the first parameter and before the second parameter range end okay so two parameters are defined here and using these parameters I have filtered my table okay let me get some bigger range so I can see data here Now I will go to table incremental refresh and here you can see that warning has gone. I will select my table and will implement incremental refresh. Now in the incremental refresh window you can see we have some values. Okay, So the first value tells us that what data we want to archive into data set it, which means these set of data will ref that will refresh in the fast load and will get stored into the data set and never be refreshed again okay so 20 years of data I want to upload and store it into data set and every time when a refresh runs then it's see only last 30 days of data and refresh every time 
Okay, so every time when I will refresh, my report will refresh only the last 30 days of data in an incremental fashion. And these are the parameters that says if you have a direct query implemented, then obviously you will get the latest data from the data source. And this option says that once the date is completed, then only refresh the data of that date. Okay. So if let's say for today I'm running an incremental refresh, then all the data of last 30 days will be refreshed, but not today's data because today is not yet completed. Okay. And obviously if you have direct query, you can detect direct change, right? And apply. So that's it. Incremental refresh in implemented here. Now I will publish my report on Power BI services. So this is a simple way we implement uh, incremental refresh. Now here is the catch. Okay, when you implement that incremental refresh logic in your Power BI desktop and upload it in on Power BI services, then and refresh it first time. Okay, remember this. When you refresh this first time, the Power BI services refresh all the data and it creates a partition internally based on the logic that you have defined in your incremental refresh okay and afterwards whenever you whenever the report will refresh it will refresh the last 30 days of data or whatever the logic that you have implemented last 30 days or 12 months or whatever okay uh, but if you want to see this internally, that what partition Power BI is creating and how it is working, so that would be a very interesting thing. Let, let me show you that how we can see all that details, right? So let's move to desktop again. And here I'll publish this report. So I have a sample workspace. And here you will see the report and data set is deployed here. I have one data flow also that I will discuss later that how to implement incremental refresh here. That is again very simple. So refresh this Power BI data set, that would be a first time. So it, it will create a partition into the data set and in first run, it will refresh all the data. But internally, if I want to see that, so how the partitions are creating, then that all we will see simply using SQL Server Management Studio. But remember that, for this, you must have a premium capacity. Like, like in my case, it is Power BI premium per user capacity. Fine. So I'll go to workspace setting, premium tab, and here is the workspace connection. Okay, this is the end point of the workspace that I can connect through SQL Server Management Studio. I'll copy this link and go to SQL Server Management Studio. Here I have already connected my SQL Server using analysis services. Okay and I will provide my Power BI credential there and you will connect to the data set, okay? In my case, I have already one report and one data set. So if I go to tables, here you will see one system generated table that is Power BI use, uses for its uh, incremental refresh. And this is my actual table. If I go to partition, you will see I have only default partition at the time of data loading whatever the rows I had it is only the sample rows okay so now if I go back to Power BI services and here I refresh my data set okay preparing to refresh go to settings and you will see it is in progress after some time I'll check again and it is completed now okay so close this one now I know all the data has been uploaded I'll go back to SQL Server Management Studio refresh data set and again I will go to sales table and this time you can see Power BI services has created all the partitions based on the incremental refresh logic that we define in the Power BI desktop here. So what do we define? We define in the incremental refresh that 20 years of data and 30 days of incremental refresh. So 20 years of data gonna store here in the yearly format. So this is all this is all partitions that Power BI has created automatically. Okay, we no need to uh, do anything into this. 
and uh, obviously we should not change this partitions definition because in the next time when the power bi service will run again it will recreate all the partitions as per the logic so here we have seen that how power bi services internally creating partitions based on the logic that we have defined on power bi in desktop okay that's straightforward very simple now now let's see how to implement incremental refresh in power bi data flow that's again very simple so i have already created one data flow and if i go to data flow here edit here i have fact sales table and in this table i should have at least one date column on which i will implement incremental refresh so simply by click to this incremental refresh button this will open and so we do not need to create a parameter here data flow handles it internally so in a similar way we can define incremental logic and simply save this so here in this video we have seen how to implement incremental refresh in data set and data flow in data set we must have pro license and if you want to implement incremental refresh in data flow then we should have premium capacity now you can try this Uh, yourself and let me know in case you find any issue in the comment i will try to respond uh, with the earliest possible thanks for watching this video